Now let's talk about switching between the descriptive and ordered set notation. For simplicity, we're going to stay in 2D. I have a vector here given in ordered set notation. Since its tail is at the origin, that means the tip has the coordinates of x equals negative 3 and y is equal to 4. I want to put this into descriptive notation where it has some magnitude and then I need to describe the direction the vector is pointing. Finding the magnitude is easy enough. It is the square root of the sum of the squares of the individual numbers. I can calculate that. The square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5. We can see where that comes from by noting that because the point is at negative 3, 4, I can draw straight lines to each axis, and there's negative 3 on the x and positive 4 on the y. I can use this to make a right triangle. And I can use the Pythagorean theorem to relate the lengths of the sides of this triangle. The length of this side is 3, the length of this side is 4, which means the length of the hypotenuse is 5. Now it doesn't matter that it's going along the negative x-axis, because when I'm using the Pythagorean theorem, I'm just looking at the lengths of a triangle, and these are all positive numbers. In this expression, these are squared, so whether you put in 3 or negative 3 simply doesn't matter. Now we need a direction. Let's take a look at this angle. I can use my right triangle rules again. I know that the tangent of that angle theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, and the lengths of those are 4 and 3. And so I can use that to find out that the angle is 53.13 degrees. I now have a descriptive notation for my vector. It has a magnitude 5, and it's pointing 53.13 degrees clockwise of the negative x-axis. Now you could ascribe that from other axes as well, as long as it is uniquely defined. Now let's go from the descriptive notation to the ordered set notation. I'm given a velocity vector this time. It has a magnitude of 8 meters per second, and the direction of 60 degrees counterclockwise of the negative y-axis. Well, what does that look like? Here I have a coordinate system, and my vector counterclockwise of the negative y is an angle theta, which I know to be 60 degrees. If I want an ordered set notation, that means I need to find the point xy at the tip of the vector since its tail is already at the origin. You don't have to worry about the units when doing this. I can just assume that when I make my triangle that the length of the vector is 8, and I'm going to use the basic rules for a right triangle to come up with the lengths of the other sides to find my ordered set. So for example, my vector is going to be an ordered pair of numbers that are going to have units, which I'll call v sub x and v sub y, but what those numbers are are just going to be the numbers I find from that ordered set of the point at the tip of the vector. So to find that set, I want to find the x and the y coordinate associated with that point, so I draw my lines to the x and the y axis, and once I do that, I can establish a right triangle. Now that I have a right triangle, I'm interested in these lengths. The lengths of that triangle are just positive numbers, and I want to find the lengths of the sides, which will then go into my ordered pair. To find the length a, I use the trig rule that cosine theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So a is equal to cosine theta times the length c. If the length c is 8, cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half, and so the length of a is 4. Do the same thing for b using the other rule, c times sine of theta. Sine of 60 degrees is a square root of 3 over 2. So the length of side b of my triangle is 4 times the square root of 3. From those lengths of the sides of that triangle, I can find the coordinates of that point. Now to find the coordinates of that point, they can be positive or negative, so I have to pay attention to whether I'm along the positive or negative x and y axes. I can see from my picture that the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative, so the ordered pair for the point is 4 times the square root of 3 and negative 4. And now finally I have my vector in ordered set form, which is 4 times the square root of 3 meters per second and negative 4 meters per second. The ordered set numbers also must have units. Remember the relationship 
between the magnitude and the ordered set numbers. v squared has to equal vx squared plus vy squared, which means the ordered pair numbers have to have the same units as the magnitude. The magnitude in this case is in meters per second.